The Lord be with you, friends in Christ, and welcome to this Thursday edition of Devotion Time in this Holy Week. And allow me, please, to focus on tomorrow and with a devotion entitled, It Is Finished. Let's listen to some verses from John chapter 19. So they took Jesus, and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of a skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. There are so many layers of recollection of powerful meaning in our annual Passion Journey, and especially for Holy Week and Maundy Thursday and Good Friday. And yet it's the simplest message of all. Here in my library, I've got uh, a wall hanging that someone cross-stitch needle crafted for me way back in Missouri. And, and it says, it wasn't the nails that held him to the cross, but his love for you and me, simply. This is God, for uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And so we recall that. And, and yet another of the intriguing mysteries of this day, of this time of Jesus dying is, is just that. Jesus, the Son of God, the living God, dies. What a thing to ponder. In his atoning sacrifice, in your place and mine, here is what God does. Why? because he loves us. You see, that's the, there's no mystery in that whatsoever. The message of God, the last word of God, is always love, delivered to you and to me in his grace. May that bless you today, tomorrow. May that compel you, impel you, bless you to be part of the worshiping, celebrating, rejoicing body of the risen Lord Jesus as we gather for worship this Sunday. But before we celebrate the resurrection, one more time, in the season of Lent, we hear these words from the hymn, Go to Dark Gethsemane. Go to dark Gethsemane, all who feel the tempter's power. Your Redeemer's conflict see. Watch with him one bitter hour. Turn not from his griefs away. Learn of Jesus Christ to pray. Follow to the judgment hall. View the Lord of life arraigned. Oh, the wormwood and the gall. Oh, the pangs his soul sustained. Shun not suffering, shame, or loss. Learn from him to bear the cross. Calvary's mournful mountain climb, there adoring at his feet. Mark that miracle of time, God's own sacrifice complete. It is finished, hear him cry. Learn from Jesus Christ to die. We pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your death. We live because of it, because your shed blood washes us clean and your promised resurrection, accomplished, triumphant, means we are yours forever. Bless us in these days and in our worship and in our 
trusting in your word always. We pray this, Lord, in your name. Amen. God's rich blessings to you. I look forward to being with you again in these times of devotion.